What's up guys? It's Sydney and I'm back and this is your 40 minute full body workout. So grab some dumbbells and let's do it. What's up guys? I am so excited to be here with you for this 40 minute full body strength workout. Before we get started, I'm going to let you know what you need. We have dumbbells today for our workout. It is a strength based workout, so I want you to focus on challenging yourself, being strong, upping those weights if you have that opportunity. Today I'm going to be using 5 pounds, 8 pounds, and 10 pounds, so I've got kind of a variety. I've got a variation of weights. Um, and of course, grab some water and a sweat towel because we're going to need it. We're going to work up a sweat. Um, I'm so excited to be back here on stage today. It has been a long process of recovery and rehab for me and for my fiance Dustin. I'm going to link a video below to let you know kind of what I'm talking about, but back in September went through something really traumatic with my fiance Dustin. I'll let you watch the video and figure it all out, but long story short, I'm back here and I'm feeling so blessed to be here and be here with you. So let's have a great workout together. All right. We're going to start with a three minute warm up first and then we're going to go into 40 second work periods, 20 second rest periods, which means you're going to go heavy today. You're going to be pumping those weights. All right, let's get started. We're going to throw hands on your hips. Okay, we're going to go single leg butt kicks. Three, two, one, let's go. I want you to stay low, kind of keep a slight bend in your knees. And let's work on opening up the quads, okay? I want you to know wherever you're at today, I'm glad you're here. Whatever level you're at in your fitness, I'm glad you're here. We're all working on progress. Progress is always the goal, and I'm right here with you, working on getting stronger every day. Stop right here, arms out to the side. Let's twist. Activate that core. Now let's start your breathing now too, okay? So make sure you're in tune with the inhale and the exhale. A lot of times when we're doing strength workouts, we forget to breathe. We've gotta breathe. We're gonna get the most out of these reps. You gotta make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Now let's go high knee, cross, cross. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Work on activating those hip flexors, pulling your knee up, a little rotation for the core again. Great job. You guys ready for this workout today? I can tell you I definitely am. It's been a long road. I still have a long way to go, but it's all good. We're here, we're here together, we're here to work hard, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, step it back to the back of your mat. Let's go hamstring high kicks. Okay, try to keep your legs straight. Kicking your toe up nice and high, pulling it back towards your face. So make sure you're not pointing it, but you're pulling it back as you kick. Let's go three more. And last one. Great job. Now give me a big wide stance here. All right, hands on your hips and you're gonna bend one leg at a time, coming up onto your opposite heel. Switch sides. Okay, so work on shooting your hips backwards. As you go down to the side, hips go back so your knee is not shooting over your foot. There you go, let's get the arms involved. Out front, sit and stand, good job. All right, back to the top. Let's reach and pull four more times. Four, reach, three, two, and give me one more amazing job. All right, let's get started with our workout. Your very first move is gonna be a squat with a bicep curl, okay? Legs are neutral, dumbbells are staying down by your side, okay? 40 seconds of work, watch me first. You're gonna sit down in that squat, but going backwards, dumbbells shoot in front of your legs. As you come up, you're gonna give me a bicep curl, okay? Sit down, curl up. All right, make sure your hips go back, back stay strong and flat. Are you ready? Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Sit, curl. Dumbbells go down. As you come up, make sure you're not scooping your dumbbells up and around, right? Go down, pin your elbow to your hips, and then curl. Down and curl. If those dumbbells are flying up, you need to grab a heavier set of dumbbells, okay? This is all about strength. It's all about challenging yourself. You've got 40 seconds of work. 
So I want you to really push it. Five more seconds. Exhale. Two, one, rest. Keep those same dumbbells if you can. We're going for Romanian deadlift and front raise. Slight bend in the knee, shoulder blades are drawn back. You're reaching down, shooting your hips back, coming all the way to the top, front raise. Okay, Romanian deadlift, front raise. You just need to come to about chest height. Two, one, let's go. Deadlift, front raise. Same thing here, don't use momentum. All right, I don't want you popping and swinging, okay? Keep that core tight, set back, squeeze your hips in. Let's do it. Great job, 20 seconds. Is your back tight and flat? Yes. Core tight when you go down? Yes. Make sure there's no rounding of the back. This is what I'm talking about. I need it to be flat. Two, one, and rest. Very last one of your first circuit, and then we're gonna go back to the top. Give me a big, wide plie stance. Toes are pointed out. We're going for a plie squat and high row. Sit down in your heels, try to get parallel with the floor. High row. All right, three, two, one. Go ahead and join me. Now you wanna make sure your heels are digging into the ground, okay? You hear me breathing? Core is tight, breathe in as you go down. Exhale. Holding that breath keeps your core strong, keeps it tight, so your lower back is not rounding at the bottom. Good work. 10 seconds, and then we're going right back to the top. I'll let you adjust your dumbbells if you need to. Two, one, rest. Great job, you've got 20 seconds rest. If you wanna go up and wait, I'm gonna do that. You can join me, if not, stay right where you are. You guys still with me? Remember, this is your workout, so you give me all you've got. Ready? Round two, squat, bicep curl. Sit and curl. Now I want you to try and get as low as you can. Great job. Pin those elbows right to your ribs as you come up. Curl and release, okay? Make sure you're not swinging up. Don't scoop. Keep the elbows back. That's it, keep pressing. Five, four, three, come on. Two, one, rest. Good job, see if you can stay with this heavier weight on your Romanian deadlift and front raises, okay? Remember, slight bend in the knee. Let's get the body set up, slight bend. Shoulders back, toes are pointed forward, dumbbells are in front of your legs. Three, two, one, hinge it back. Let's go deadlift and front raise. If you're going up in weight, do not feel like you need to have the same speed with the heavy weight as with a lighter weight. The only thing you need to worry about is executing each rep with proper technique. That's where your muscles get the most work. They get the most blood flow. You tear them down a little bit more and they get the best option for rebuilding and repairing and getting stronger. And that's why we're here. Tight abs, push forward, lift. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, last one. We're back to sumo squats with that high row. Step it out, see if you can go a little heavier with your weights. I want your toes pointed out, sink down in those heels, guys, okay? Squat and high row. Four, three, big deep breath. Let's go. Down and row. Great job. Exhale, breathe. Is your core staying tight? Make sure you're not bending. You are sitting, okay? There's a big difference in bending forward and sitting your butt down. Give me that sit. Whew. 10 seconds. Let's go. Nine, 
Eight, seven, keep the knees out. Four, three, two, 20 seconds rest. We've got one more round of that circuit and we are done with it. We're moving on, we're starting back with the squat, bicep curl. Whew. Grab some water. It's been a while guys, I'm just glad to be back. Whew. All right, two, one, let's go. Squat and curl. Last time through, make sure your elbows are not coming out here on your curl. They stay here, okay? Squat down, curl. Now your curls can be either hammer style or if you want to open up your palms, regular. Keep the back tight. We never want your back to be rounded unless you're doing a sit up. If you're doing anything upright with your legs, the core's got to be strong. Back has to be tight. Let's go, keep breathing. And rest, good work. All right, back to my favorites. Romanian deadlifts in your front raise. See if you can bump that weight up. Now's your chance, okay? Last round through this one. Slight bend, pull the shoulders back. Core tight. Two, one, let's go. Sit and lift. Make sure on the lift your lower back isn't arching either. Keep those knees bent, keep your core pulled in. Again, you're going heavier. You don't need to go faster and heavier. It's all about execution. Are you giving me 100%? That's what crushing it is, guys. Let's do it. Lift. Come on, stay with me. 10 more seconds. Keep those ribs pulled in. Make sure you're not overarching your back. Keep them pulled in. And rest. Good job. We're back to the last one of your first circuit. Nice wide plie squats. We're gonna sink down into our heel. High row, pulling it up for that posterior delt. <sighs> Big deep breath, five seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Here we go, two, one, let's rock. Think about what you wanna get out of the rest of this workout, right? You're doing great right now. Hopefully you're pushing yourself. Hopefully you're already out of breath. These 40 second work periods are not easy to roll through like this. So keep breathing, stay focused, and know you are strong enough. 10 more seconds, keep breathing. Good job, five, four, let's go three, two, one more, and rest. 20 seconds rest, come on down to your mat. We're gonna lay it down. Go for an arms and abs move, okay? So we've got a straight arm pullover, straight leg reach. Looks like this. Lay on your back, arms go back, up to the top, lower your legs, back to the top, okay? Let's go, arms first, two, one. Reach it over, now lower your legs. If you need to modify, bend your legs, tap the heels on the ground, come back up, okay? This weight should be challenging. You should feel it in your lats, in the back, also in your triceps, okay? Hold your breath as you lower your legs. Exhale on the way up. Good job, I'm with you. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Bend those legs, place your heels on the ground. We're gonna do a rotating chest press and glute bridge, okay? Go ahead and bridge up into that bridge. You're gonna stay right here. Elbows are gonna come down and tap the floor. As you press up, you're gonna rotate your hands so your palms are facing behind you, okay? Two, one, let's go. Down and twist. Keep the hips up. What this twist does, activates the pectoralis major, the very top of your pecs, okay? So if you find it hard to kind of tighten up the chest, this rotation really helps target that upper part of your chest. Okay, make sure the pinkies are coming together and then pop back down. Give me a hip check, are your hips up? Pop them up there, 
Come on, eight seconds. Five, four, three, one more, two, one, rest. 20 seconds rest. I'm gonna show you the move. You can pick which dumbbells you wanna use, okay? We got a seated tuck and press. I'm gonna drop down to my fives, okay? What this looks like. Knees, elbows are together, okay? As you open up your legs, you're opening up your arms. Tuck, press. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Now the key here is to not let your hips, if you watch my hips really quick, don't let them roll forward, okay? Keep them pulled back. Think about tailbone to the floor. If this is too tough for you, maybe you just go one leg at a time, okay? Give me one leg or put one foot on the ground. Same thing, switch, switch, okay? Totally fine to do that. Whatever your fitness level is today, wherever you're at, this workout is for you, okay? You just have to make it work at your level. Trust me, I'm with you. Rest, good job. Okay, let's go back to whew, straight arm pullover and leg raises. Okay, let me scoot down a little bit here. All right, so those dumbbells up over your chest. Big deep breath, everyone's still focused? Everyone's still with me? Whew. Legs up, two, one, let's go. Arms first, reach, pull, lower the legs. Back up, reach, pull, lower the legs. If you wanna make this a little harder, you can of course keep your legs here. Lift and lower your arms, if you wanna go for that. There's always an option to step it up. There's always an option to modify if you need it. Okay, don't be afraid of staying at your fitness level. It's all about getting better each day, regardless of where you're starting. Progress is the whole goal for the whole journey. And rest. Whew, okay, bend your legs, put your heels down right in front of your glutes. We're going back for our chest press with the rotation in a glute bridge. 10 seconds, give me a big deep breath really quick. Yes, here we go, five seconds. Go ahead and bridge those hips up. Heels down, hips up, two, one, let's go. Press and turn, tap the elbows back on the ground. Here we go. Turn, tap, turn. Good, squeeze your chest together. As you're turning those dumbbells, Squeeze those pec muscles together. Give me a hip check. Pop those hips up a little higher. There we go. 10 more seconds. Five, four, give me a couple more. And rest. Good job, come on up. Seated, knee tuck and press. Remember, drop the weight down if you need to. Take it one leg at a time if you need to. I'm here for you. I'm in this with you. Breathing heavy, I'm panting with you, okay? We got it, let's go. Knees up, elbows up, two, one. Open everything up, pull it back in. Do you need to go one leg at a time? That's okay. Do you need to drop one heel to the floor? That's okay. Go for it, do whatever you can to challenge yourself while staying safe in your technique, proper in your form. And of course, getting that good sweat on, right? Anyone else already dripping? Anyone else have that awkward sweat mustache? Every time, I love it. <laughs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Come on. Five. Three, two, one. Amazing. Whew. Okay, let's come on back one more time through that round and then we're moving on. Okay, progressive overload today. That means we're challenging you to go for a little bit longer than you would for one normal set. We're going three sets. This is set number three. Let's go, legs up, arms up. Straight arm pull over with the arms first. Let's go. Reach, pull, lower the legs. If you find your hips are popping on the way down, maybe open your legs, rotate your feet, okay? Or maybe just bend your knees, reach, and pull right back in, okay? Connect with your breath again. You doing okay? Yep. 
Okay, I'm with you. Let's go. Exhale as you lift your legs. Keep that back glued to the floor. Two, one, rest. Stay right here, heels down. We're gonna bridge up for your glute bridge. Chest press with that rotation of the arms, of course. All right, everyone still here? All right, I'm pumped to be here with you guys. Three, two, bridge your hips up and press. Let's go. Press. If this is way too light, you know you're ready for that next set of dumbbells, right? Don't doubt yourself, you're ready. We've got a wide variation of exercises here today, so I understand if you've got some lighter ones out, but just know if this is tough, you are ready for that next set. So whether you need to purchase them yourself, put them on your holiday list for someone who wants to get you a present, whatever it is, make that investment, okay? Invest the time to tell someone about it, invest the money in your own health, invest in getting stronger. Two, one, let's rest. Drop it down, last one of this circuit, and then we're moving on to a new circuit. Back to your knee tucks. Okay, whatever you need to do to keep that back flat, keep the belly button pulled in, do it. Three, two, knees up, elbows up, one, let's go. Press and tuck, press and tuck. Good job, pull it in. Once you get that, you can speed it up if you want. Think about raising the roof with your arms, kicking that wall over there with your feet. Step it up, you can open your legs up. Okay, get a little crazy. Switch it up if you want. Let's go. Keep pulled in, let's do it. Nine, eight, come on. Three, two, one, and 20 seconds rest. We're moving on to the next one. You're just gonna flip over and stay right down here on your mat. Grab some water if you need it. <sighs> All right, your first exercise is a plank row. Two options here. You can have both your hands on the dumbbells or you can have it off, okay? Whichever one you need, you can go for that one. Also modification, drop down to your knees if you need it, okay? You're rowing left and right, okay? Challenge yourself, whatever level you're ready for, but know you can switch it up if you need to modify. Ready? Let's go. The goal here is to keep your hips flat. So none of this, right? Keep them turned towards the ground. Drive your elbow right past your rib cage, forcing that hip down as you pull, okay? So if I pull with my left arm, think left hip stays down. Nine seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, let's flip it over onto your back again. We're gonna go side crunches. All right, dumbbells are down. You're gonna roll your hips over to the side, crunch up, roll them over, crunch up. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Roll them over, reach. Now this will be a tiny movement, okay? So don't expect to go all the way up. If you need to modify, drop the dumbbells, reach to the ceiling, and rotate. Okay, rotate. Reach. Last 20 seconds. Keep looking towards your knees. There you go. 10 seconds, another modification. Just lift your legs up, crunch left and right, okay? That's there for you too if you need it. Two, one, and rest, good job. All right, flipping back over into your plank position, just a body weight one this time. We're gonna go plank, pike, and twist. Start off in that high plank position. You're gonna pike up. As you come down, lift one leg, twist it under. Pike up, lift and twist. Ready, let's go. Good, lift and twist. Lift and twist, so try to get your knee 
right outside of that opposite elbow. Hike up, drop the hips, twist the knee under. This is great for shoulder strength, really great for core strength at the bottom, right? Good work, come on. We're right there, seven, six, three, two, one. Amazing job, let's go back to our plank rows, okay? Grab the dumbbells that you need. Remember, if you need to drop to your knees, that's okay. If you need to have your hands flat on the floor and then pull a dumbbell and switch, that's okay as well. It's your workout, right? Make it your own, but go hard. Three, two, one, let's do it. Feel that shoulder blade pull over onto your spine. the core stronger, getting the back stronger, all the above, right? 15 seconds. Now these are tough, so stick with me. I know they're hard, I know you're strong though. Come on, four, three, one more, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, back for those side crunches. 20 seconds rest. You got that 20 second rest. If you need some water, grab it. All right, let's lay it down flat. Twist your legs over to one side. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, reach forward, down, twist. All right, legs are twisted so the oblique is isolated. You're reaching diagonal forward. Exhale as you lift those shoulder blades off the ground. And switch. It's also really great for the lower back, right? Opening up those hips, getting them to rotate a little bit. Some of you may have heard a little pop, pop, pop when you rolled your knees over. <laughs> That's it, come on, we've got five. <sighs> Give me one more, three, two, one. Great job. All right, we're back to those planks. Plank, pike, knee twist. Move the dumbbells out of the way here. Shake your shoulders out if you need to. Big deep breath. Three, two, one. Let's go high plank. Pike, drive it under as you lower. So make sure you're not piking and driving this leg up top here. You're lowering and then twisting. All the way up, all the way down. Think about your hips. They rise, they fall. As they fall, you make them rotate. Great job. Give me 10 more seconds and we're going for that last round, okay? I'm with you. Let's do it. Make this workout your best. And rest. Okay, let's go back. Plank rows. Give me a little shoulder shimmy. Whew. Good work. Still with me? So glad to be here. Yes? That's all how you think about it, guys. Think about it in terms of gratitude. Okay? Thankful to be here, thankful to be able to work out. Two, one, let's go. Let that sweat fall. It's a sign of your hard work. That's it. Pull the belly button in, feel a little shake. That's okay, me too. Don't let the shake force you into dropping down though. Push through the shake. Last 10 seconds. Stay up, go down and row. And rest. Woo Done with the plank rows, good work. Blessed to be here, right? Oh boy. This is about that point in the workout where you're like, can I do this? This is getting tough, right? Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Push through, it's all about how you think about it. Two, one, roll it over. Push, twist. Think of each challenge as a way to express gratitude. 
Thank you for this workout that's pushing me to my limits. That's helping me to get stronger. And that's giving me the opportunity to do the best thing for myself today. And that's get a good workout in. Okay, it's all how you think about it. 13, 12. Come on, twist and lift. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Feet together, let's pike it up. And then we'll twist that knee under, okay? You got it. Shake your shoulders out. I know this was a lot of shoulder on this one. This workout in general was a lot of shoulder. All right, five seconds. Go ahead and grab, drop down into your plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pike, twist. Pike, twist. Make sure you're not just driving your knee under. You are rotating the hips to face the opposite wall. Come on, breathe. Push it all the way up. Take a big deep breath at the top. Drop and twist. 10 seconds, here we go. That's it, it's your workout. Are you gonna make it count? Two, one, 20 seconds rest, amazing job. We're going into that last circuit, guys. Woo, are you with me? Come on up off your mat. Let's go reverse lunge, straight leg reverse lunge, okay? So grab those medium dumbbells. You're gonna drop it down into a half squat with me. Two, one, tap that leg backwards straight. One, and two. Okay, notice my hips up front are not shifting backwards. They're staying up top, right over my knee. Okay, hold this half squat. Your chest is gonna be placed right over your front knee. But the thing is, your butt's not going up and down and up and down, right? You're staying low, reaching back, coming back to that low squat. It's the last circuit, so we're going hard, right? Four, three, two, one, let's rest. Second exercise of your last circuit is a bent row, tiny hop. Okay, give me a little wide stance with your hips or with your feet. You're gonna row here, drop it down, in, out. Row, in, out, okay? Three, two, one, hinge forward at the waist. High row, open, close. High row, open, close. Let the row be the priority here, okay? If you need a modification, row, step, step. Row, step, step. 20 seconds. That's it. Little hops. There you go, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Grab your light set of dumbbells now. Last one's gonna be a little shoulder, a little standing abs. I know you guys love those standing abs. All right, so big wide sumo stance. Okay, one arm is gonna be up in the air. One arm is gonna be down by your side. Crunch, switch, crunch, switch. Ready? Let's go. Crunch down, up, down, up. Notice my hips aren't going up and down. We're not squatting. We are staying in a hold. Force yourself. Focus on these obliques. As you pull over, squeeze right here. Okay? Almost lost it there, almost fell forward. It's all right. Stay down. Knees are pushed back. Seven, six, come on. Pull, reach, pull. Two, one, rest. Woo! Okay, we're back to our reverse lunge. Straight leg kick back, grab your dumbbells. I'm with you, I'm struggling right along with you guys. It's worth it though. That's why we're here. To push ourselves further than we would have done alone. Squat it down, reach back, let's go. Tap together. Stay low. Dumbbells are just staying straight down from your arms, so you don't have to be holding them here. You don't have to be holding them out front. 
straight down, just a dead hang from your shoulders. Okay, what that's doing is challenging your back muscles to stay nice and strong. What I want to avoid also with my legs is this shift in my weight. Keep all the weight up front. Think of it as a single leg squat really quick, right? All the weight stays up here. You're tapping up and back, but this foot is not taking any of the weight. And rest. Good job, we got that bent row with a little tiny hop. Everyone good? Still with me? All right, let's work those back muscles. Legs are hip width apart. Hinge forward in three, two, give me one row. And hop together. Row, together, out, row. Feel those shoulder blades squeeze back. Come on, we're almost there. Can you feel it? All right, let's turn it up a little. Row, hop. Keep that back flat. Don't let it round. 10 seconds. Are your abs pulled in? Four, three, two, one, rest. Switch it out for that lighter set of dumbbells. Another option here, of course, is just to use your body weight, okay? You don't have to use a dumbbell. Nice wide stance here. So if you're going body weight, give me one hand, both hands up top, one drops down, reach back up, okay? That's fine. I get it, trust me. Two, one, let's go. Drop the hips, raise the arms. Exhale as you crunch down. Keep that other dumbbell right over top of your head. So if you look up, it's right over your head, okay? It's not over here. Right over top of your spine, of your tailbone. Seven, six, stay down with me, four, three, two, one. Good news, we've got one more round. Whoop, whoop. Only one more time, and you have made it. We're right there. Mentally, I need you to refocus, okay? You've got three minutes left with me, that's it. Grab your dumbbells, drop it down, two, one. Reverse lunge, tap, tap. Together, tap, together. Pull the shoulder blades back to your spine and push down the arch of your front foot. All your weight is right up here. You wanna make it a little tougher? Bring your dumbbells up top and stay lower. Okay, that's an option too. Just make sure you're not fading backwards with that back foot, okay? 10 seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew, okay, bent row with the hop together, okay? Big deep breath. 10 seconds, we got this. Two more exercises, okay? All right, five, four, hair's falling out. Two, one, let's go. You guys get it, right? Sometimes the hair just gets out of control. Good, give me that good squeeze, big strong back. That's it. Row, hop, hop, row, or step, step, row. Challenge yourself, come on, I know you can. Let's go, hop, row, big pull, eight, seven. Come on, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, sumo stance, crunch and press. Let's turn it up for this last 40 seconds. That's it, okay? 40 seconds and then you're having a seat. Mentally, you gotta know you are here to give me everything you've got left in the tank. Everything. Two, one, drop your butt, press one arm, and crunch. Now I want you to keep that front hand facing forward, okay? Not here, here. 
Okay, that makes sure that you're not rounding your back, but you're keeping it open. Last 20 seconds, drop lower. Last 10 seconds, even lower, crunch. Stay there, come on, come on, come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Oh, I can't tell you how good it feels to be back here with you guys. Oh, it's been a crazy three months. Like I said, you can check out the story. Go ahead and have a seat. At the link below in my description, it's gonna be called I Got Shot. If you don't wanna watch it, you don't have to. It's a little bit emotional. Exhale, turn your chest towards that straight leg and fold forward. All right, it's a little bit emotional. It just talks about an accident that Dustin and I were unfortunate victims of. And it's taken me a while to get back here to the stage. So I'll update you guys with the whole entire story of what happened, the rehab, the recovery. Go ahead and switch legs as soon as I can. But for now, just know that it's just such a blessing to be able to work out, to be able to have you guys supporting me, and to be able to come back knowing that every day I'll come here with now 46,000 of you to get stronger, okay? 47,000, I'm sorry, 47,000. Got that post-workout endorphin rush right now. It feels good, right? <sighs> Reach down one more time as the clock has timed out. I want you guys to remember if you need a little bit more of a stretch, I'll link a video at the end. You can keep rocking with another 20 minutes of just deep stretching. Okay, come on up. Let's roll your arms around. Thank you guys for being here with me, for giving me the opportunity to be a part of your journey. Dustin and I are so blessed to be here, first of all, to be alive and well and to be able to give to you guys in the best way we know how, okay? We have officially launched a Sydney Squad membership group. So if you want more information on that, you can scroll down in the description as well. Okay, it's gonna tell you about ways to get access to me, more live, more one-on-one, -on -one, Q and A's with professionals, and then something a lot of you guys ask me for all the time, a complete nutrition plan that's gonna be able to be catered to you specifically. We've got recipes, we've got ways to calculate your calories, your macros, the list goes on and on, but I want you to check that out. I wanna be able to add more value to you in a more personal way, okay? And there are other realms of fitness and health besides just your workout, right? So check that out in the description. Like I said, I'm gonna to continue to link options for you to stretch at the end of this video. But above all else, guys, make sure you express gratitude for being able to be here today, being able to do this workout, being able to have the chance to just move, okay? That's what it's about, just moving your body, being the best version of yourself. Let me know if I can help you. Comment below what you thought of this workout. I'm so grateful for you guys, okay? Make sure I wanna express my gratitude. Let's use the code We Did It for 30% off of the 30 Day Transformation Program. Another massive program you can take, learn how to eat, learn how to do new workouts. So much in that program as well, so make sure you check out everything in the description. But above all else, thank you for being here. Thank you for working out with me and don't forget to express your gratitude today. All right guys, have a good day, I'll see you soon. Thank you.